Hello friends, hope you are doing well. Welcome to another episode and today we are going to discuss about emotional intelligence. My name is Narayan, Namaskar and today we are going to understand what is the importance of these particular skills, why organizations encourage their employees to learn these skills and why it is important for getting a new job. So we'll discuss about various aspects of uh, emotional intelligence. We'll also try to understand how we can learn emotional intelligence, what are the sources of learning emotional intelligence and how it is measured and some debates and controversies about emotional intelligence. So it is a long discussion on uh, this particular topic. Uh, I'll use the word EI. Uh, we are already familiar with the word IQ and uh, AI. Uh, both are related to intelligence and here this intelligence is relevant to your emotions and uh, let's see what is there it is really going to be a interesting session and we are going to navigate its different areas through the conversation so dear friends uh we are talking about the renowned psychologist and science journalist uh, Daniel Blumen. In mid 90s, uh, he wrote a book, The Emotional Intelligence, which is more important than IQ. Uh, he emphasizes on this particular topic and this book was one of the best seller in New York's uh, bestseller list. So what is the emotional intelligence uh, for a common person? We heard about business intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, and cognitive intelligence etc but what is emotional intelligence so here is the definition emotional intelligence refers to the capacity to understand manage and express one's emotion effectively as well as the ability to uh, influence the emotion of others it involves a set of skills that competence uh, an individual to navigate the uh, is uh, emotions and social interaction with great awareness and sensitivity. So the concept of emotional intelligence gained widespread attention after that, uh, after the publish of this book. Before that, two other psychologists also work on this particular uh, topic. Their name are Peter Salve and John D. Mayers. So emotional intelligence is very important, no doubt, and I will repeat this line again and again it is very important very important why why it is very important uh, many smart people and organizations understood its importance uh, researchers like daniel gluman and john mayers then baron they published different papers on this and those are research oriented paper and for a layman if you want to understand this particular topic then i have to and give you some more information about this in this particular presentation so we understood that it is not a very uh, old topic and for for modern world because the concept was coined in um, 1990s so before that long time ago in ancient india the ancient scriptures like bhagavad gita also emphasizes on improving the emotional intelligence of a person through uh, its teaching. So uh, that secret book teaches us emotional intelligence. How and uh, what is the uh, reason behind that? We will discuss this in this presentation. So before that, we have to understand what is emotional intelligence and why it is so significant. So emotional intelligence, uh, no doubt, is a field of psychology, education, and organization uh, or management, uh, management related topic. And I am connecting this topic with mythological teaching in this session. And we'll also find out why it is so important for today's leadership kind of uh, job role and team management kind of activities. So the importance of emotional intelligence lie in its profound impact on various aspects of life, particularly in leadership and team management 
tasks and you can do effectively or you can do these tasks effectively with these skills so leaders uh, around the world are highly uh, uh, skillful in this particular area like emotional intelligence so when we choose someone as a leader for a team uh, we look at the emotional intelligence along with his cognitive intelligence like IQ so in a team setting IQ plays a pivot role uh, in fostering cooperation communication collaboration etc so emotional intelligence uh, is, uh, is no doubt important for team building, important for leadership. We understood that point. And if you want to learn these particular skills, then what are the key components you have to focus on? Let's see. So a emotionally intelligent team members can understand uh, and respect the feeling of other team members. And that's why there is zero conflict that's why they can find resolution from the complete uh, conflicts and they took those conflicts as the opportunity to learn something new so it uh, promotes productivity it promotes creativity and overall it uh, helps in building a trust among all the team members so here as a beginner if you want to learn what is emotional in intelligence and if you want to improve this particular skill in your uh, soft skill set then focus on these areas areas number and uh, we'll discuss one by one you can see the areas or components here in this particular screen so before that i just want to add a few points the understanding of emotional intelligence is become aware of this Fact. and when you understand this matter in a better way that means you can implement that in your life so understanding something and implementing it on your life is two different thing if you understand the problem that these are the areas where I need to make some improvement you can focus on those area and you can find out solution how to improve those areas so if I tell you that I am teaching your emotional intelligence and after watching this video you will become an emotional intelligent person then I am not correct 100% correct here because I have to tell you that it is a matter of exercise you have to implement it in your life now AI, AI, AI skill the emotional intelligence skills actually something that contributes in productivity we already understood that it make your work environment more efficient it uh, leads you to personal growth organizational growth there is no question about that now the key components are self-awareness number one an individual need to understand his strength his weakness and uh, this is how he can understand about his capacity so it is called self aware person and with that knowledge he can influence the behavior his behavior and he can take better decision next self regulation this is the capacity to manage and control one's emotion and uh, you can avoid some impulsive reactions that are uh, sometimes uh, very difficult for managing a situation so you can get better self uh, regulation when you set some better self regulation you can do this then next thing motivation we have a lot of motivation speaker all around us if we simply ask you what is motivation what is uh, how you motivate for doing something good or something better so it is actually a driving force uh, that help you to pursue the goals you set some goals and a driving force constantly and helping you in in achieving those goals and it is like a passion and perseverance and despite of all obstacles and setbacks you focus on your goal and you achieve that and that driving force is motivation when you seek motivation you need to find out what is your goal and how passionate you are in achieving that goal 
okay now you understood how to improve the motivation quality inside you now the next thing is empathy we see world around us need this particular skill the whole human being need that that particular skill empathy this skill is recognizing and understanding another emotion generally people fight because they don't understand other emotion they have no space for understanding other emotion and that's that is the reason most of the conflicts arise at organization level at team level at families at at uh, reason countries we see different kind of uh, conflict because both side has not both side has no equal empathy towards each other so the empathy is such a skill that recognize and understand the emotion of other and that's why you can demonstrate genuine care and concern for their problem and you find the solution according to that so empathy is a very important skill that is a part of emotional intelligence then your social skill that person has zero social <laughs> skill we use that word frequently using that line we describe that the person don't and doesn't understand how to communicate uh, you know a language that doesn't mean you are a good communicator you must have presence of mind you must have understanding about the listener who is going to listen you and you also need to keep your focus on that area so that your listener can understand you so it is very much necessary for team building the adapting adaptation of uh, effective communication uh, and adapting the conflict resolution behavior and uh, building some good understanding uh, these are major skills of social skills so uh, from a very high level point of view we understood major component of individual intelligence that we can uh, nurture in our day to day activities now why emotional intelligence is nowadays so crucial for personal and social development we had to spread this education along with our academic education because of many reason it is improving interpersonal relationship it is improving good leadership uh, qualities it is helping people in making good decisions and it is very important for well being people with high emotional intelligence tends to have the higher relation higher capacity in building good relationship in balancing their stress level and uh, they execute uh, some strong leadership qualities and there is no doubt about this but the process of learning emotional intelligence the process of evaluating someone uh, emotional intelligence these areas has some sort of debates and controversies will come to those points later in the later slides so dear friends what is emotional intelligence let us try to recap this point once again that people with higher we conclude this point that people with higher emotional intelligence stands to have healthier relationship they cope better with stress uh, especially they are good in stress management and time management they exhibit strong leadership qualities and in general they are more effective for achieving their personal goal and organizational goal now let's move to our next slide we have some question in our mind that, that generally we face when we think about emotional intelligence that number one uh, question is what is importance of emotional intelligence so i don't want to repeat these lines again we have already established the answer why it is important if you are looking for a career with a leadership kind of position if you want to build a team if you want to build a business where you want to work with your Uh, colleagues and co-worker uh, you will face different challenges and those challenges are generally uh, relevant to good communication 
conflict management negotiations and uh, showing empathy or uh, to the needs of people these people include the customers the employees the investors etc so it is important and uh, there is no doubt next question can emotional intelligence be developed and improved answer is yes there are many methods available for improving these particular skills so through self awareness we discuss about five component major component through self awareness practice and by learning um, these and implementing these in your real life you can improve your emotional intelligence then the next question is how does emotional intelligence affect the relationship in a relationship i think emotional intelligence is very important because you have to understand your partner's emotions and uh, side by side you also need to transfer the communication good communication which is very important uh, for any relationship so ei uh, positively impacts a relationship and because it fostered the empathy towards your partner and you can maintain a good understanding because both are understanding the emotion of each other and it is possible through clear communication transparency and uh, when there is any sort of conflict you can resolve them uh, because both of you has the trust over the activities so next question is can emotional intelligence be measured now this is half truth because there are some method available for measuring this emotional intelligence but some other experts has a different opinion about those measurement techniques so there is no uniform measurement technique different experts have different measurement techniques here so there are various a uh, variety of measurement or assessment of emotional intelligence these tests evaluate different uh, aspects such as self awareness empathy social skill and provide some insights uh, into the individual emotional competencies now next question is is emotional intelligence relevant to the workplace answer is absolutely yes it is relevant to the improvement of the workplace productivity because it plays a significant role in leadership team building conflict resolution and employees motivation so next question is can emotional intelligence help in stress management of course yes it can help you in stress management we feel stress because of many reason but most of the reasons are a tremendous pressure about the work because these are not managed properly or someone else showing an emotion which is not acceptable to you or you are showing a uh, very uh, very toxic equation uh, emotion to others and that is the reason for your dissatisfaction as well so um, emotional intelligence help you in managing stress you can recognize your emotional triggers and you can implement pop up strategy to handle stress more effectively now the next question is what are the sign of low emotional intelligence we see that in our society we have some people who have very low emotional intelligence because uh, you can see that their communication is not clear number one number two they have zero empathy towards other people other community or whoever who are against their our team so we see that yes um, there are some people who has low emotional intelligence and they are actually measurable you will find some signs of low emotional intelligence using some examples like poor impulse control lack of empathy inability to handle criticism because they get angry very quickly now uh, when they find something is wrong and when they find something is beyond their uh, their rules something like that now as it is such a important skill whether it is necessary to give that education at school level so how can parent promote emotional intelligence parent can play a very significant role here instead of the regular curriculum of the school they can start exercising some moral lesson to their children about 
why it is uh, important to follow non-violence in life uh, and why they should provide some good empathy to their neighborhood and uh, their fellow students and etc then next question is can emotional intelligence be more critical than iq in certain solutions so according to the author uh, the emotional intelligence is more powerful compared to iq and uh, while iq related to cognitive ability emotional intelligence impact how effectively one uses this ability in social interaction and social marketing uh, decision making and managing uh, some emotions then we see uh, our next question emotional intelligence is very important uh, and can emotional intelligence be more critical than iq can emotional intelligence train benefit individual and uh, organization yes emotional intelligence training can give benefit to individual and organization no doubt because you can become a more equipped person with uh, for a leadership role once you complete this knowledge area you can apply for some leadership role then here you remember that emotional intelligence is a dynamic skill and you have to learn it continuously because there is no end of learning this uh, it is essential for any personal goal personal growth and uh, uh, any team building kind of tax next we see that emotional intelligence is very important idea that may mean that many smart people organizations and uh, regular people think about a lot and researchers like daniel gluman peter slovan etc have a lot of research on emotional intelligence now there are some conflict and controversies about um, emotional intelligence uh, companies are hiring people with high emotional intelligence and they are somehow motivating people to do more work for growth and achievement and they are getting low time for their families and etc so there are some major uh, points that i want to share that the importance of emotional intelligence light lies in its profound impact and various aspect of life particularly in leadership and and team building so till date we find different uh, debates and controversies around emotional intelligence and number one is uh, some expert assume that it has no importance in job performance so why it has no importance in job performance than some other uh, has the opinion like it is uh, the measurement is not correct and measurement is not universal for all the uh, all the observations and uh, some assume that it is a natural quality it is not possible to nurture in an individual's brain because you have to uh, get that quality by genetics so it is a there are some different opinion about that emotional intelligence versus cognitive intelligence uh, these are also some challenges for this particular area but till now uh, there is a lot of improvement as already made in this particular area so if you want to learn um, this particular skill you don't need to reinvent the wheel you can find resources online now we want to talk about the main person who coined this word emotional intelligence uh, mr uh, daniel gloman so gloman emphasizes that emotional intelligence is more critical than the traditional iq why because he argued that individual with higher iq can excel in life no doubt but sometimes some people who has lower iq but their emotional iq is better they can also do a better uh, future they can also build a better future so here uh, since emotional intelligence is a collection of different skill set like motivation self regulation empathy and relationship skills etc so you need to um, improve your capacity day by day by practicing them in your in daily life so here uh, 
um, Daniel Lumen define emotional intelligence in a broader sense. He saw AI as a form of intelligence related to emotion and empathize, understanding other situations. So when you as a leader understand other situations, you can give better advice, you can improve the productivity because all the productivities are streamlined somehow. So when you are helping another team, it is actually helping your organization. So Blumen uh, model focus on AI as a set of competence and skill that influence individual's performance in the workplace. We all want better uh, performance in our workplace and here uh, this emotional intelligence played a very significant role. Then dear friend, we, we will try to understand how you can um, adopt this competency at your personal level at your um, social level so you have to use a framework here what is the framework of learning this in the next slide we'll find out this so we the framework have two major part one is personal competence another is the social competence so what are the areas where you can work for social of social competence and what are the areas where you can work for personal competence so here is a list of personal competence areas first of all emotional awareness so what is emotional awareness so according to Daniel Gluman's uh, theory uh, that a leader with uh, emotional self-awareness can identify when they are feeling stress and they can take appropriate uh, step for managing it and uh, leader are better decision makers and they are composed during any challenging situations then uh, accurate self-assessment knowing your own strength and limitation is very important for doing any task so a leader who accurately access his team's ability can delegate the task to the right person and as a result he, he can make the process faster then self-confident so self-confident uh, means you understand the work and you have the capability to deliver it so it helps a leader to trust their decision and uh, they are confident about their team uh, and uh, they encourage better collaboration and performance then self-control is managing a and your imp emotions and uh, impulse a leader who demonstrate emotional self-control can remain calm and uh, cool during any kind of conflict situation and uh, foster a positive work environment and better conflict resolution uh, transparency is another uh, things acting uh, congruently with uh, one's values and maintaining integrity transparency is a leadership building trust among team members and promotes an open and uh, honest work culture then adaptability is another skills um, adaptability being flexible in handling changes changes are welcome for optimizing the process so leader who are adaptable can lead their team through transition more effectively and uh, more likely to embrace innovative ideas then you you can see that uh, the achievement oriented achievement oriented means you are always looking for uh, better achievement and you are setting some higher standard in your team is also fulfilling that now we look at the social competence uh, social competence include empathy empathy for uh, the members of of the team so as a leader you are doing a better communication and maintaining a stronger relationship among the members you have organization understanding what is the organization goal your goals are aligned to organization goal your team goals is aligned to organization goal leaders are good organizer they are aware of the team dynamics and then uh, they take right decision for more efficiency 
now next is uh, service orientation service orientation means a leader with service orientation focused on satisfying the need of their team and the client and uh, next is developing other and not only focus on individuals upgradation they are also focused on other uh, team members upgrade so as a result leader who invest the in development of other team investing developing the skills of other team is actually creating a motivational workforce for solving the problem so here influence is another skill competency you have to influence people in uh, doing their job properly because if you can set example by doing great job they will also do the same for your team uh, because of the influence capability uh, conflict management is very important skills because you will face conflict with the uh, management with the uh, stakeholder and team members during executing a task so here as a team leader you uh, need to understand the negotiation skill and resolution skill this is a very important social component and then uh, inspiring leadership uh, uh, changing the catalyst working as a changing catalyst team collaboration these are some other areas in social competency let's move to our next slide so next slide is showing this famous book of emotional intelligence and why it can matter it is one of the best seller books and uh, it is written by the psychologist and science journalist daniel gloman and uh, according to daniel gloman the um measurement is possible using emotional competency inventory or ecu and there is there was another uh, emotional quotient inventory which is known as eqi and emotional competency inventory is known as eci now dear friends come to the most important part of this video how bhagavad gita this ancient uh, sacred scripture of india help us in learning emotional uh, intelligence we'll discuss this about uh, this point so emotional intelligence offers constructive approach in, in to institute organization and provide value insight to understand and measure emotion effectively in workplace and as a result it is helpful for building a better team uh, and bhagavad gita teaches us those skills now you will be surprised how just uh, try to understand that and uh, these are major uh, qualities that bhagavad gita teaches us relevant to emotional intelligence number one is self awareness you can learn self awareness from bhagavad gita bhagavad gita encourage individual to uh, introspect and gain deeper understanding of their thought emotion and action so by recognizing the expect their own em emotional state individuals can develop a self awareness uh, which is key for any ei skill so gita teaches us the true self awareness uh, lead leads to clear understanding of one's strength weakness and emotional triggers and facilitate better emotional management next is emotional regulation Uh, gita emphasizes the impact of controlling emotional emotion and desires it teaches the practice of uh, detachment and non attachment to outcome which uh, can help in managing impulsive reaction, reactions and maintaining emotional balance in challenging situation so by learning these uh, emotions individuals can make wiser decision and prevent some effective effectivity to various circumstances then we also learn about empathy and compassion uh, from sri bhagavad gita and uh, it encourages individual to culture empathy and compassion uh, towards other through it teaching of universal uh, love and respect uh, for all human uh, for all beings Uh, the bhagavad gita promote the sense of interconnectedness and encourage individual to uh, consider other feelings and perspective so this part is very important because bhagavad gita promote the sense of interconnectedness among all the living beings including uh, animal and man woman etc so developing empathy 
enables individual to build a stronger interpersonal relationship and contribute positivity in teamwork it or uh, the bhagavad gita also help us in managing our stress and uh, stress management is no doubt a very important part for a leader by embracing these principles of detachment self or uh, selflessness you you can become a person who is stress free and uh, you can adopt the inner peace a inner peace peace and uh, resilience quality uh, which are very important for facing any kind of challenge so this teaching can be uh, helpful for reducing the stress level and promote the emotional well-being then manifestes uh, mindfulness and presence gita also encourage us uh, understanding and the practice how to practice mild mindfulness so being fully present in their their now once individual be uh, encouraged in active listening and enhance their uh, emotional understanding for that mindfulness also help in reducing uh, some destructive nature and fostering some deeper connection to one's emotion and uh, surrounding so it is also helpful in decision making gita bhagavad gita emphasize the importance of uh, right actions uh, which is ethically correct so it is helping in decision making by adhering the moral uh, principle and values uh, individual can culture this emotional integrity ethical behavior enhance emotional intelligence by promoting authenticity and sincerity in relationship so in conclusion bhagavad gita offer uh, some profound uh, insights and practical wisdom that can greatly contribute to develop emotional intelligence and by incorporating this principle self awareness uh, emotional regulation empathy compassion stress management mindfulness and ethical decision making individual can enhance the emotional intelligence and can create more humor, uh, harmonious and fulfilling person uh, and he, he becomes successful in personal life so thank you so much for listening to this podcast see you guys in the next episode till then take care